Whenever you start out with a new project, the question is, where do you get a nice project skeleton from that you can build on? In the past, more often than not, I had colleagues clone some random ancient project, try to clean it up and reuse it. But we're going to learn a much better way here. So meet Spring Initializer, available at start.spring.io. It lets you easily generate and download a clean and good to go Spring Boot project, and we're going to use it for all of our screencasts. As you can see, we have to choose from a couple of options. For this video, we're going with Maven, and there's another a video for Gradle. And uh, choose the latest Sable Spring Boot version. Now we also have to fill in our group ID and a sensible project ID and add some Spring Boot dependencies. And as we are about to write REST controllers, we only need one dependency and it's the web dependency. Quick note, you might be wondering, dependencies, what? How do I know what dependencies are out there? Well, let's find out by clicking on the switch to full version link. And when you scroll down, you're able to see a ton of dependencies. But for now we're good to go, so let's just generate the project and download it. Now after extracting the zip file, you can see that we got a nice little Maven project folder with a pom.xml and the standard source folder. So the project is ready to be imported into your IDE. Now let's open up IntelliJ IDEA and choose Open Project. Next, we select our project folder and double click directly on the POM XML. Nice. As you can see, our project starts loading and indexing. For final verification, let's try running the project. The Spring Boot generator nicely enough already created a start class that we can simply run by right clicking it. Quick note, although our project does nothing at the moment. Nevertheless, let's give it a go. Everything looking good in the logs? So congratulations, you just created and imported your first Spring Boot project.